Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and welcome to my extras channel where I do some supplementary content and unboxings. And I just got done reviewing uh, the Epson WF7210 that came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. You can see that full review uh, link down below in the video description. And what I've been doing with every major printer brand over the course of the last couple of months is showing how to get uh, Chromebooks to print on these newer printers that you can connect up with your Wi-Fi because it's not always cut and dry uh, to get these things configured. So I'm going to show you how to get a current Epson printer working with Chrome OS. And we're going to start off actually on uh, the app that you can get for your mobile device. This runs on uh, Android as well as on iOS. And the reason why I want to start here is that we have to get the IP address of the printer and the best way to get that is through their app. So you can see here when you go into your printer selection screen and you go over to printer to find a printer on the network, it will hunt down all of the Epson printers and get you the IP address. And the one we're working on today uh, is 192.168.1.74. And now that we have that address, I'm going to pop over here to my computer and type that address in to my web browser to finish up configuring this printer for a Chromebook. Now you're going to get this warning uh, saying that your connection is not private. And the reason you're getting this is that it's encrypting the connection to your laptop, but it doesn't have a certificate from uh, an authority to validate it. But because we're on our local network, this is one of the only times you should do what I'm about to do, which is bypass uh, this warning. Depending on the browser you're using, you might see a different warning here. Uh, I'm on Chrome right now. I'm going to click on advanced and then uh, click to proceed. And what this, this is going to do is bring me over to this little secret web server that's running inside of this printer that gives you some idea of your ink status and all that kind of stuff. We're going to go over to network though. And you'll see here that it's got something called Google Pl uh, Cloud Print Services here on the, the left hand side of the screen. Uh, so I'm going to click on that right now. And now you'll get to this screen here and it says register. So I'm going to click on register. And what's going to happen here is it's going to uh, make me accept the terms of use here. I'm going to do that. If you're a lawyer, you might want to read it, or if not, you should read it anyhow, probably. Uh, and now what's going to happen is the printer is going to connect up with Google uh, to register with their cloud printing service here. This might take a few minutes, maybe not, depending on your connection speed. Uh, and now we're going to click OK, and that's going to uh, take us over to the Google Cloud Print page here. I'm going to click on Finish Printer Registration, and now we're ready to go. And once you get through this process, you'll get a little confirmation page here to tell you that it's now linked up to your uh, Google account. And if we go back over to my laptop now, and I go to print out something, uh, what you'll see here is that we'll now have the ability to print to uh, this printer through our Google Cloud Print services here. You can see it's showing up uh, twice right now, one on my network and once through uh, the Google Cloud Print infrastructure. But if you're on a Chromebook, uh, you will now see this printer available and you can actually print to it from anywhere in the world, which can be very flexible. So it'll work on the Chromebook, it'll work on any browser running Google Chrome, and you'll be able now to print uh, using those Google services. That's going to do it for this quick tutorial on Chromebook printing from an Epson printer. And this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.